Okay, so this system originally came with a lot of Rolls batteries. They're lead acid, six volt, deep cycle, off grid batteries. You might know Rolls for their off grid battery solutions. These lead acid batteries were extremely heavy, enough that it made this trailer difficult to tow. We had about 30 kilowatt hours in here. We used to use this to go to conferences and we would we had some scientific equipment that we would run in here and we'd run it all off solar power and uh, we needed the 30 kilowatt hours which enables the whole system to run and if you need to expand capacity you always can but these are power star you would see these normally in a uh, ups so they are deep cycle capable and also have a long calendar life and there's I'll show you at another point in this video that there is a generator input in this trailer. So uh, if you need to extend runtime or run into the evening, you can always do that. These are the main connections for the batteries, which I'm going to connect up. And uh, these two batteries will be run in series so that we can reach 24 volts, which is what this whole system runs at. Okay, these are M8 metric uh, by 1.25 coarse thread uh, bolts and you can use these to bolt these down. I got some longer ones to uh, accommodate the double connection here. All right, so we're gonna wire these in series. We're gonna go from the negative to the positive. And what this allows me to do is make a series bridge for the I'm using lock washers to make sure that these connections are tight. These are power stall, power star 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. So 24 volts times 100 amp hours is 2400 watt hours, 2.4 kilowatt hours. Now the array is about 2 to 2.1 kilowatts so you would have assuming you're running this trailer at full load you could have about an hour of backup with the solar array potentially replenishing these batteries constantly throughout the day during a peak sun day so you could run indefinitely plus an hour all day and that's what we're getting so we're good there I'm going to hook up the positive over here and the negative over there. All right, 24 volt system. Let's try to power it on, see what it does. It's a good sign. So we're sitting there with about 340 kW on the top array. And uh, I could turn on the other ones, but I'm not getting a lot of direct sun on them right now. You see these guys come alive? It's green, which means that the inverter is working. And we don't have any error. Over here we have the circuits. It looks a lot like a mobile circuit breaker box and these are all the AC circuits. So you turn this on this way and you got the inverter and you turn it off and you're gonna bypass the inverter. So leave it on this way. You can see that the AC has the ability to come on and now we can turn on all the circuits inside this room. The password for these is 141. Put 
24 volt system. Bring this down to 141. Enter. Enter. Yes. There's sharp panels and then they have microwave. They have the connections here. Here's the AC connect on the exterior of the trailer. You can plug in here and uh, you would be able to run a generator through this or a, a grid, grid connect if you were able to plug into a building. Here you can see the lights are on. They plug into these wall outlets. We're running off solar batteries right now. I just plugged in my drill. The solar power drill. Uh, you got 240 volts in here as well as 110 volts. Um, like I said, we used this for running a demonstration experiment. So we had fans in here because we were generating carbon dioxide. But this actually would work really well if this was like a cocoon tra trailer or a food truck. You could have these fans plugged in. There's a CO2 rack in the back if you want to hold bottles and you can run the lines for the CO2 right here. If you want to use this as a tiny house, that's cool too. I mean, you can make the back a sleeper. You can cut a hole in this wall um, and you can have like a little living room sitting area here. You got enough power to uh, do whatever you want. You can tow this out to some, some place and live there while you build a house, whatever you want to do. And it all works. This is the interior of the main room. There's some fans. If you want to use this as a kitchen or a food truck, you got that ability. They can be wired into the 110. There's 110 and 220 wired into this. You got a switch for the fans that can be hardwired. Some tie downs, so if you have equipment, you tie down the floor. And there's a pass through that goes to the rear room. This is all separated by just this fiberglass wall. Both these doors open. So you can open them all wide. There's two panels here. Here's a generator plug. Axle trailer. There's five panels on this side. These are sharp solar panels. The panels fold out. There's these uh, mechanisms on all sides that allow it to fold out. And then there's a uh, there's a pneumatic raising mechanism. When you fold these out, you got the full 2.9 kilowatts. You can park the trailer south facing so that you pick up the most sun. I've cut the logos off from my former employer for the trailer. That was the only condition on me taking it. The rear doors are double doors. They open all the way. There's panels on top. I think there's six up there. Again, if you want to use this as a food truck, here's a place where you can put gas cylinders for soda carbonation. If you want that, I can leave that in here or take it out. All the circuits are fed with a GFCI outlet. And then uh, each of these are the out, outback power uh, inputs. So the uh, solar panels go right into that and it tells you what's going on. So right now you can see it's producing about 30 watts. I'm not in the best sun right now. I'm, I'm on the other side of my garage. But it's, it is producing. These are the DC circuits and the main solar disconnects. Those are the DC to AC inverters. And that those are all the AC circuits. Here's my tester. I got a drill here, an electric corded drill. 
with the trigger zip tied. See the lights work. 